the Arch Bitcoin, BTC, skeptic Peter Schiff has experienced problems with the traditional international banking system, giving BTC advocates the opportunity to tell him that his struggles could have been avoided had he made use of Bitcoin. Schiff has become infamous in the world of crypto Twitter, where he regularly takes the opportunity to troll BTC advocates, even crossing swords with the likes of Elon Musk. He took to Twitter to complain that despite no evidence of crimes, Puerto Rican regulators had closed his bank account for net capital issues, instead of allowing him to make a sale. He added that he was a highly qualified buyer who had been promising to inject capital far in excess. He evangelizes gold buying as an investment strategy, but claims that BTC is a scam. He has also positioned himself as a broadcaster in recent years, launching a self-titled podcast. For the Associated Press, Schiff's Puerto Rican banking outfit, Euro Pacific International Bank, was granted an operating permit in 2017, but has since run into trouble after deposits dropped to the 150 million US dollar mark. Two years ago, the Joint Chiefs of Global Tax Enforcement, a government-run anti-tax crime and money laundering unit, stepped in to put a stop to the suspected facilitation of offshore tax evasion and money laundering, the same media outlet reported. Schiff claimed that his bank had never been probed and claimed that the only brush he had had with the body was when agents with the Internal Revenue Service visited the bank in 2020 and told him they were investigating customers. Schiff claimed last week that he would fight to save his ailing bus. The bank account closure appears to be linked to these firefighting efforts. It costs a fortune to run a small bank. That's why I never really made any money. The compliance costs are outrageous. Some Bitcoiners replied by simply expressing their mirth, while others quipped, regulators can't close, shut down, or freeze your Bitcoin. In addition to a large amount of LOL emojis and memes, there were also a few more level-headed responses. The managing director of Swan Bitcoin International Stefan Levera wrote, In fairness, Bitcoin companies and Bitcoiners can also easily have their fiat bank accounts shut down. But for him to completely deny the value of Bitcoin at times like this is just burying your head in the sand. In a recent BTC-themed Twitter tirade, Schiff claimed that because Bitcoin whales had succeeded in pumping the coin close to 70 US dollars, oh oh oh, it was now much easier for them to unload more. 